Despite the recent dialogues with the leaders of the Green Movement, the Azeri reformists, who represent the largest and the most influential ethnic group, have not completely supported this movement. And it is also of crucial importance to take into account the significance of the independent models flanking the region from the independent Republic of Azerbaijan, the independent Arab neighbors of Iran, and to the federal, federal Kurdistan of Iraq when analyzing the positions taken by the activists from these three nations in Iran. The semi-open environment provided by President Mohammad Khatami during his eight years in office presented ethnic groups with a unique opportunity for the spread and growth of national awareness among their people. Therefore, in my opinion, our current situation is different from any other in the past hundred years of Iranian history. During both major revolutions of Iran, that is the Constitutional Revolution and the Revolution of 1979, the non-Persian nations of Iran followed the general demands of Iranian people without any specific ethnic requests of their own. At the present time, however, these have their distinct particular demands and they will not allow them to be overlooked. An urgent issue nowadays is to coordinate these ethnic and more general national demands in Iran. This attempt at coordination is not an easy task. Nevertheless, the democratization movement in Iran needs to deepen its bond with groups working for rights of women, workers, the poor, and ethnicities and coordinate its agendas if it is to have any chance of real success. Albeit the Green Movement might win the battle without coordination, but I believe it would be an incomplete success which would inevitably be followed by a struggle for the real democracy which would include the rights of all ethnicities in Iran. A number of different political streams among the non-Persian nations can be observed, from those demanding independence to ones requesting the realization of ethnic rights within the framework of current constitution. In fact, the tendency towards independence is rapidly increasing, especially among the Turks and the Arabs. Thus, the leaders of the Green Movement need to clarify their strategies regarding the issue of nationality on the basis of a federal system in order to attract the potential and the support from a non-Persian people. The federal system has historic roots in Iran and is not considered a taboo anymore. For instance, the statues of Yonbesh, Mosalmanan, and Mobaras, which is one of the groups supporting the Green Movement, clearly demands the formation of federal system in Iran. Mehdi Karoubi's electoral plans could have been used as a suitable tactic to realize this strategy, but neither did he emphasize these plans nor did Hossein Musavi ever referred to them in his statements. Furthermore, the reformist movement's leaders and figures who in the past 30 years have been responsible for assimilative and racist policies, bloodshed and ethnic and cultural cleansing of non-Persian nations must express their sincere apologies for these actions. In addition, in order to spread the tide of democratization across the whole country, close coordination and consultations must occur among the leaders of the Green Movement and those of the non-Persian nations. Although this type of coordination normally took place before the presidential election, the tough security measures in place afterwards did not allow it to continue. Yet, the opposition groups outside of Iran could advance this endeavor. And last but not least, it is a priority for the democratic and left-wing opposition parties inside and outside of Iran to take a positive attitude towards the formation of a federal system and include it in all their strategic planning.